importing essential libraries for numerical operations, plotting, and combination calculations such as NumPy, Matplotlib, and SIPI is pivotal in this code snippet. Additionally, it configures the plot style to a dark background. The final line, Matplotlib in mine, should be noted as a magic command tailored for Jupyter Notebooks in Jupyter Lab. This command enables the visualization of plots directly within the notebook interface, streamlining the process of interpreting data and outcomes during code development. In essence, this code snippet establishes a foundation for conducting numerical computations and generating plots with an emphasis on a dark background theme to enhance visual clarity. The provided code snippet serves to initialize a pair of NumPy arrays, namely input samples and parameters. For starters, input samples houses sample input values which, in this instance, are 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0. These values are pivotal for subsequent calculations and operations. On the other hand, parameters entail sample parameters represented as phi values. These specific parameters will play a crucial role in executing operations or models on the input samples. In this scenario, the parameters equate to 0, 5, 1, 0, 0. 50, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 6. The purpose of this code lies in establishing the foundational data required for future calculations or operations. In numerous mathematical or scientific computations, segregating input data from other parameters or constants proves indispensable for clarity and organizational effectiveness. By allocating the input numbers to input samples and the parameters to parameters, you ensure convenient access to these values later in the code for an array of calculations, optimizations, modeling tasks, or any other processing contingent on these initial values. The snippet of code seems to be a component of a broader program designed to showcase the structures of two arrays or matrices input samples and parameters. In Python, the shape property comes in handy for retrieving the dimensions of an array or matrix. Through the utilization of strings, the code exhibits the shapes of the aforementioned variables in a neatly formatted manner. Understanding the configurations of arrays or matrices holds immense importance in coding, ensuring that operations involving these entities are executed accurately and helping to resolve any potential issues linked to dimension mismatches. Additionally, it equips programmers with crucial insights into the foundational data structures, which proves beneficial for debugging and enhancing the efficiency of the code. Describing a function known as ReLU, this piece of code implements the rectified linear unit ReLU activation process on an input array. The ReLU activation function works by replacing negative values in the input array with zeros while keeping positive values as they are. This specific activation function is widely utilized in neural networks to introduce nonlinear behavior, aiding the model in recognizing intricate patterns within the provided data. To execute this function, a NumPy array named preactivation is supplied as an argument, housing the preactivation figures before undergoing the activation function. By utilizing NumPy's NIP, Maximum function, the code modifies the preactivation array by transforming all negative values to zeros thereby effectively applying the ReLU function in an element-wise manner. Incorporating ReLU as the activation function proves beneficial in combating the vanishing gradient issue, ultimately enabling the model to train more efficiently and excel in handling extensive datasets and intricate problem scenarios. In this code snippet, we find a function named shallow neural network designed to execute the forward pass of a shallow neural network featuring three hidden units. Let's break down what this code accomplishes to begin. It accepts two inputs, input samples, a NumPy array that represents the input characteristics fed into the neural network. Phi a NumPy array storing the neural network's weights and biases. Next, it parses the Phi array to isolate the bias terms Physero along with the weights connecting inputs to the hidden units Phiones, Fibo, Fithri, and from the hidden units to the output layer. Subsequently, it extracts the weights governing the connections from input samples to the hidden units for each specific unit that eaten. The t 11 the TAT20, the TAT21, the TAT30, the TAT31. For each hidden unit, it computes the sum of weighted inputs and biases, then applies a rectified linear unit ReLU activation function to derive the activation values cons. Addo, Kathri. Lastly, it determines the output y by multiplying each activation value by its corresponding weight physero. 
Phaon, Thito, Fifri, and summing them together. This function essentially evaluates the outcome of a neural network comprising a single hidden layer with three units. The utilization of the ReLU activation function for the hidden units enables the introduction of nonlinear properties. The purpose of this code is to establish a shallow neural network capable of processing input data encompassing numerous features and acquiring the ability to forecast an output based on the specified weights. This code snippet appears to showcase the application of a shallow neural network for processing input samples. The function shallow neural network is designed to take input samples, along with parameters, and yield the weighted output, which is then stored in the variable output weight. The shallow neural network here serves to transform the input data simply, relying on parameters like weights and biases, even in their shallow form. Neural networks have the capacity to capture intricate, nonlinear connections in data, proving beneficial for tasks like classification, regression, and pattern recognition. The last print statement exhibits the computed weighted output derived from the neural network. This output can be leveraged for further analysis or downstream assignments. In essence, neural networks stand as indispensable assets in the realms of machine learning and AI due to their knack for modeling intricate patterns and correlations within datasets. Here we have a handy function that applies the rectified linear unit ReLU activation method, a straightforward nonlinear function that sets any negative elements in an array to zero while retaining positive values. When given a numP array named preactivation, the function cleverages the NIP maximum function to generate a fresh array with negative values converted to zeros. ReLU finds widespread application in neural networks as an activation function due to its ability to bring in nonlinearity, its computational efficiency, and its contribution to tackling the gradient vanishing issue in the training process. In this script, a numpy array named linear outputs is generated. It populates with a series of numbers that kick off at 5 and go up to 5 but not reaching it with increments of zero, one between every two numbers. Consequently, the array will hold values like 5, 0, 4, 9, 4, 8, and so on until 4, 9. This code proves valuable when there's a need to establish a range of numbers with specific commencement, conclusion, and interval settings. It comes in handy especially in scenarios where generating evenly spaced values is vital be it for graph plotting, numerical computations, or any task mandating an array of values. NumPy's arrange function stands out for offering a more versatile and efficacious means of crafting such sequences compared to Python's native range function. We utilize the code linear outputs, shaped to retrieve the structure of a multi-dimensional array denoted by the variable linear outputs. The structure of an array indicates the quantity of items along each axis of the array. Suppose linear outputs constitutes a toed array in that case, invoking linear outputs. Shape will yield a tuple disclosing the carries row and column quantities. This snippet proves beneficial when engaging with arrays, requiring insights into array dimensions and magnitudes to carry out precise data operations or alterations effectively. The following code initializes a numP array called parameters and assigns it the values 0, 5, 1, 0, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6. NumPy is a highly robust Python library designed for numerical computations involving arrays and matrices. The purpose of this code is to employ NumPy to generate an array that can house a series of parameters, specifically five values in this context. This array is then primed for a variety of applications such as mathematical operations statistical assessments, and more intricate scientific calculations where the efficacy of arrays for data storage and manipulation is paramount. The practice of storing parameters or data values in arrays serves to systematically structure data, aiding in enhancing readability, encouraging reusability, and facilitating code maintenance. This method proves to be invaluable in scientific analysis data processing, and the implementation of machine learning algorithms, especially when managing extensive datasets and executing numerical computations. In this snippet, the rectified linear unit ReLU activation function is being implemented on the linear outputs tensor. By utilizing ReLU, the function zeroes out any negative values in the tensor, leaving positive values unaltered. This nonlinear transformation is crucial for addressing the vanishing gradient issue that often arises when training deep neural networks. 
the resulting values from this activation, stored in RULU values, will be fed into the subsequent neural network layer. In this code snippet, the shape of a NumPy array called RULU values is being verified. Accessing the shape attribute of a NumPy array provides insight into the carry's dimensions, which are expressed as a tuple of integers detailing the carry's size along each axis. Grasping the carry's shape is pivotal for debugging and validating the proper execution of carry-related operations. This practice aids in verifying dimensions and verifying that arrays align with the anticipated sizes necessary for precise mathematical computations. This code snippet depicts a plot illustrating the correlation between linear outputs and ReLU function values. Here's an overview of its functionality initially, a figure and an axis object are established through PULT. Subplots, providing a dedicated space for plotting. Subsequently, the ax plot function is utilized to chart the linear outputs against ReLU values on the designated axis, rendering a red line on the plot. Several ax set functions are then employed to specify the plot title. Set boundaries for the x and y axes ranging from C5 to 5 in this instance, and label the x and y axes accordingly by implementing ax. Set test by dual, the code ensures the preservation of the plot's aspect ratio. Following that pult, tight layout is invoked to enhance the plot layout and avoid overlapping elements. Ultimately, pult show is called to exhibit the plot visually. In essence, this piece of code generates a visual comparative representation of linear outputs and ReLU function values. It aids in comprehending how the ReLU function alters linear outputs by converting negative values to zero while maintaining positive values. Visual representation serves as a valuable tool for grasping the behavior of mathematical functions, playing a crucial role in data analysis, model development, and interpretation. This code snippet generates a NumPy array named YValues, populating it with the results obtained from the shallow neural network model for each input x taken from the linear outputs array. The model relies on parameters representing its weights and biases to delve into the code's functionality 1. Array linear output stores the input values, 2. Iterating over each input x in linear outputs. The code invokes the shallow neural network function with x and parameters as inputs. 3. Within the shallow neural network function, the output is computed based on the provided x in neural network parameters. 4. The resultant output for every x input is then saved in the y values array. This code streamlines the application of the shallow neural network model to numerous input values efficiently using NumPy arrays. The advantage lies in acquiring model predictions for a group of inputs at once. A more streamlined process compared to predicting them individually. Such an approach finds common use in machine learning applications for batch processing and parallel computing, optimizing prediction speed. This piece of code utilizes the matplotlib library to craft a line plot showing the output values produced by a shallow neural network. The data comprises two sets linear outputs which holds the model's predicted outputs, and y values which contains the actual output values. Below is a breakdown of the code's functionalities 1. Creating a new figure of size 8 to k inches with the command pult. Figure fix is 8, 8, 2. Constructing a line plot using pult. Plot linear outputs, y values. Hallerd, labeled shallow neural network output. This line graph plots linear outputs on the coaxis and y values on the a axis, with a distinctive red color and label shallow neural network output. 3. Setting coaxis and xi axis labels with pult. Clabel input x and pult. I label output y respectively. 4. Designating the plot's title as output of shallow neural network as a function of input x with the line pult. Title. 5. Displaying a legend with pult. Legend to clarify the representation of the red line on the plot. 6. Enhancing readability by activating the grid on the plot using pult. Grid true. 7. Refining the layout of subplots spacing for better presentation through pult. Tight layout. 8 showing the plot on the screen with pult show. This script proves valuable for visually inspecting the shallow neural network's output against the ground truth values. By plotting this information, users gain insights into the neural network's performance, facilitating potential enhancements to the model. The provided code snippet sets up a 2 numpy array with zeros as its values. By utilizing the zeros function from numpy, a fresh array is crafted with the designated shape. Typically linear outputs, size, linear outputs, size. 
Here, it is assumed that linear outputs is a numpy array or a comparable object featuring a size attribute. The objective of this code might revolve around establishing a matrix called Y based to house various computations or data points. Each dimension of the matrix aligns with the size of the linear outputs array. This approach comes in handy when you require an array of certain dimensions where you explicitly desire all elements to start off as zeros. Subsequently, you can proceed with additional computations and allocate varied values to the array elements. To sum up, this snippet initializes a 2 numpy array filled with zeros, tailored to a specific size dictated by the dimensions of the linear outputs array. The following code snippet creates a numpy array named trulu values, which implements the rectified linear unit relu activation function on each element within the linear output array. The relu activation function evaluates an input value and returns the value itself if it's greater than zero or returns zero otherwise. In neural networks, utilizing the relu activation function is a common practice to introduce nonlinearity, aiding in the network's ability to grasp intricate patterns by allowing only values greater than zero to proceed and setting negative values to zero. Relu promotes effective learning within the neural network model by preventing gradient vanishing issues and expediting the training process. Hence, this code segment facilitates the conversion of linear outputs into nonlinear activations through Relu, ultimately enhancing the network's learning capabilities and enabling it to discern complex relationships within the data. In this code snippet, the shapes of three distinct arrays Y base, Relu values, and linear outputs are being outputted. It is probable that these arrays signify various elements or computations within a neural network or a machine learning model. Confirming the shapes of these arrays is vital to ensure that the dimensions align correctly for the intended operations. It is crucial to prevent errors in neural networks and machine learning models due to incompatible shapes. By displaying the shapes, we promptly validate if the array dimensions conform to the anticipated values. Within this code snippet, there is a process that involves iterating through two lists, namely linear outputs and relu values, utilizing nested loops along with the enumerate function to maintain index tracking simultaneously. Through each iteration, the code invokes the shallow neural network function with the y value extracted from linear outputs and other parameters. The outcome of this function call is then saved in the y base array. Situating it based on the corresponding i and j positions, the primary objective of this code segment is to employ the shallow neural network function selectively on distinct pairs of entries from the linear outputs and relu values collections. This systematic approach enables the examination and storage of resultant values in the Y base array, facilitating subsequent analysis, computations, or predictive tasks. By executing this process across all possible pairings, it streamlines data processing, ensuring pertinent outcomes are consolidated efficiently in a singular operation. Below is a guide on how to produce a 3D surface representation using matplotlib that illustrates the results of a basic neural network concerning two key input variables linear outputs and relu values. To create this rendering, the NIP mesh grid method is utilized to form a grid incorporating the specified input variables effectively establishing the x and y coordinates on the chart. Following this, a 3 plot is crafted with PALT, figure, figure, CAD to subplot and AX, plot surface. In this depiction, the linear output is depicted along the coaxis, relu values along the e-axis, and the shallow neural network's output along the z-axis. The color scheme of the surface visualization is dictated by the Viridis color map. Additional features like axis labels, a title, and a color bar are included for a more sophisticated appearance. This visual representation is beneficial for understanding how a shallow neural network reacts to different inputs, offering valuable insights into the correlation between input and output variables. The code snippet concludes with the display of the finalized plot through PULT. Tight layout and PULT show showcasing the network's response pattern to distinct linear and relu values in a visually appealing manner. In this code excerpt, two variables are declared a number of inputs and a number of hidden units. The number of inputs variable is set to capture the length of the linear output list, denoting the quantity of input values. On the other hand, a number of hidden units is straightforwardly initialized to 4, symbolizing the count of hidden units within a neural network layer. These variables prove handy in designing neural network frameworks or configuring various machine learning models. 
By specifying the input quantity and hidden units, the code assists in structuring the model accurately and setting up the necessary parameters for training and predicting outcomes effectively. It guarantees precision and coherence when establishing neural networks or implementing other machine learning algorithms. The following code snippet showcases the length of the input stored in a variable called number of inputs. Employing inf string enables the seamless integration of variables and expressions within a string. In this instance, upon invoking the print function, the value of number of inputs will be seamlessly substituted in place of number of inputs. This method of exhibiting the length of inputs proves handy for debugging purposes or presenting information to the user clearly. It furnishes a lucid message denoting the quantity or extent of inputs handled within the program. The algorithm presented here determines the total number of regions created by hyperplaces within a space. Based on the specified quantity of hidden units and inputs, it accomplishes this by systematically evaluating all potential combinations of hidden units selected from the overall quantity available. For each unique combination, the algorithm computes the resulting number of regions using the prescribed formula for determining the regions formed by hyperplanes in a given space. The formula for calculating the number of regions produced by hyperplanes within a space involves summing the combinations of hidden units taken i at a time, where i varies from 0 to the total number of inputs plus 1. This code proves valuable in situations where there is a necessity to assess the intricacy of a neural network relative to the quantities of hidden units and inputs employed. By determining the total number of regions, valuable insights can be gleaned regarding the neural network's capacity and ability to convey information. This understanding is vital for grasping the network's functionality and effectiveness. The script establishes a range of hidden units spanning from 1 to 50 and an array containing various values for the input units d. The range of 1 to 50 serves as a potential selection for the quantity of hidden units within a neural network architecture. The input values list presents diverse numerical inputs for the neural network's input units. This script comes in handy when seeking to explore multiple setups of the neural network design by adjusting the hidden units or input units, allowing for a performance contrast across various configurations by presenting these ranges and values. One can seamlessly iterate through them in models without the need for manual input each time a different configuration is tested. The following script generates a plot to illustrate how the quantity of input units influences the count of linear regions within a shallow neural network. Here's a breakdown of its functionality one. It initiates a plot with specific dimensions to represent the data effectively. Two, for every d value in the div values list, it computes the quantity of linear regions and values for each hidden unit count d within the designated range. 3. Subsequently, it graphs the correlation between the range of hidden units to range and the linear region count and values for each d value using a line chart. 4. The script appropriately labels the axis, the axis, and title of the plot for clarity. 5. It incorporates a legend to distinguish between various d values on the plot. 6. A grid is added to the plot to enhance visualization. 7. Lastly, the plot is exhibited. This code is essential for visually interpreting how the number of input units impacts the linear regions within a neural network, offering valuable insights into network complexity and capabilities. Visual representations like this are instrumental in comprehending network behavior and facilitating informed decisions concerning network structure. By employing NUP, random, seed0 to set a random seed, it guarantees that the random numbers produced by NumP's random number generator will remain consistent across multiple runs of the code. This practice is valuable for ensuring reproducibility, aiding in testing, and facilitating debugging, as it enables the retrieval of identical random outcomes with each code execution. Such consistency proves particularly beneficial when aiming to distribute or replicate outcomes that rely on randomness such as in machine learning trials, simulations, or statistical investigations, with the seed locked in, you can ensure that others will yield identical results to yours. This particular function is designed to carry out the rectified linear unit relu activation function. It receives pre-activation values in the form of a numpy array as an input pre-activation and proceeds to apply the relu function individually to each element of the array. The relu function, represented by fismax0x, essentially outputs 0 for any input value below 0. 
and yields the input value itself if it is greater than or equal to zero. ReLU activation finds extensive application in neural networks due to its ability to introduce nonlinearity and sparsity into the network, thereby enhancing the learning capacity and overall performance. By transforming negative values to zero, ReLU effectively mitigates the issue of vanishing gradients during backpropagation, thereby streamlining the training process. In essence, this function provided carries out the ReLU activation function on the pre-activation values and then delivers the resulting array. The function shallow neural network is defined in the code to create a simple neural network featuring a single hidden layer. In a nutshell, the code accomplishes the following tasks 1. It initializes the hidden layer matrix by setting all values to 0. 2. Loops through the hidden units D to calculate pre-cativation values for each unit using input samples and weights theta. 3. Applies the rectified linear unit ReLU activation function to the pre-cativation values to obtain the hidden layer output. 4. Determines the final output by multiplying the hidden layer output with output weights phi. Adding a bias term and utilizing an activation function. This code comes in handy for building a fundamental neural network model suitable for tasks demanding the identification of intricate patterns in data. It offers a method to feed input samples through a hidden layer to capture nonlinear correlations before generating the ultimate output. The ReLU activation function, widely used to introduce nonlinearity in neural networks, and the dot product operation, applied to amalgamate the weighted hidden unit outputs for deriving the end outcome are integral components of this implementation. Presented here is a straightforward Python function named target function. It is designed to receive an array, input samples, and subsequently output an array where each individual element represents the sign of the corresponding element within the input samples array. The function leverages the capabilities of the NumPy library to execute the sign calculation simultaneously on all array elements. The primary objective of this function is to apply the sign functionality to every element in the input array. Such functionality proves to be beneficial in numerous scientific computation and data manipulation scenarios, where there is a requirement for swift and efficient execution of mathematical processes on arrays. By utilizing the NumPy library, we can access tailored functions that are optimized for these computations, resulting in more succinct and performance-optimized code. Below is a code snippet utilizing the NumPy library to generate an array consisting of 200 equally spaced samples across the range from P to P. By employing the NIP, blindspace function, points within the P to P range are produced, tailored specifically for a 200 sample array. Subsequently, the print function is utilized to display the size of the resulting array, denoting the quantity of samples generated, which amounts to 200 in this particular scenario. Such insight proves valuable for cross-checking the volume of input values that have been initialized, particularly essential when working with extensive datasets or when specific sample sizes are imperative for subsequent computations or analyses. In essence, this code effectively crafts an array containing evenly distributed samples within a designated span, subsequently confirming the count of generated samples thereby furnishing pivotal details for tasks associated with data manipulation and analysis. This piece of code sets up parameters to kick off the training of a neural network with varying quantities of hidden units. The variable hidden unitst is a collection featuring different quantities of hidden units for the neural network. Theta constitutes a random starting point for the parameters governing the network's weights linking the input to the hidden layer. This matrix's dimensions are established by the highest number of hidden units in the hidden unitsed list. Phi represents a random starting point for the parameters pertaining to the network's weights that connect the hidden layer to the output layer. The dimensions of this matrix align with the maximum number of hidden units in the hidden unitsed list with an additional one. The implementation of this code is crucial as it sets the weights of the neural network in a random manner before commencing with the training process. Properly initializing these weights is key to facilitating smoother convergence throughout training endeavors and can help prevent complications like vanishing or exploding gradients. The theta shape code snippet comes in handy for verifying the structure of the theta variable. In Python, the shape attribute proves particularly valuable when dealing with NumPy arrays and matrices as it provides insight into their dimensions. Upon implementation, for instance, in case theta represents a NumPy array, 
Theta shape will yield a tuple indicating the carry's size. The initial tuple component signifies the row count, while the subsequent one denotes the column count. This script finds significance in scenarios involving arrays or matrices within the realms of data science and machine learning. By confirming the dimensions of these data structures, it safeguards the smooth execution of diverse operations like matrix multiplication, addition, and other array manipulations. Furthermore, it aids in troubleshooting and gaining clarity on the data's composition under analysis. The following snippet retrieves the shape of a NumPy array labeled phi. When you access the shape attribute of a NumPy array, it provides a tuple that describes the carry's dimensions. The length of the tuple corresponds to the number of dimensions in the array, with each position containing the size of that dimension. Using this code snippet is vital for grasping the structure of the phi array encompassing its dimensions and the magnitude of each dimension. This knowledge is pivotal for executing array operations like reshaping, slicing, or merging with other arrays. Comprehending the carré shape is fundamental for data manipulation and analysis tasks in scientific computation, machine learning, and various fields where NumPy arrays play a predominant role. In this code snippet, strings are utilized to display the sizes of two arrays or tensors labeled theta and phi. The function size is called to retrieve the total elements within each array or tensor. Outputting the sizes of theta and phi proves advantageous for debugging or grasping the array dimensions within the code. Revealing these sizes allows for confirmation that the arrays possess the anticipated number of elements and dimensions, aiding in spot checking the code's integrity and accuracy. This approach not only facilitates code debugging and validates the proper creation and manipulation of arrays but also furnishes valuable insights for monitoring the application's memory usage. The purpose of this code is to demonstrate the visualization of a nonlinear function's approximation using shallow neural networks featuring varying numbers of hidden units. The code performs the following tasks 1. Establishes a plot with specific dimensions. 2. Assigns a title to the plot. 3. Illustrates the target function, which is sin x, with input samples as values and the output of target function as evalues. 4. Loops through a range of hidden unit counts denoted as hidden on its d. 5. For each hidden unit count d, it computes an approximation y caprox utilizing a shallow neural network with d hidden units by invoking the shallow neural network function with the relevant parameters. 6. Displays the approximation y caprox for each hidden unit count and appropriately annotates the plot. 7. Sets the claxes and z-axis labels. 8. Includes a legend on the plot to distinguish the target function from the various approximations based on hidden unit counts. 9. Updates the plot layout. 10. Lastly, showcases the plot. This code plays a vital role in illustrating the enhancement of approximating a nonlinear function with an increasing number of hidden units in a shallow neural network. By graphing both the target function and diverse approximations, it enables a comparison and assessment of how well the neural network captures the nonlinear association. This visual aid is instrumental in evaluating the efficacy and accuracy of the neural network in estimating complex functions. The following function encapsulates the ReLU activation function, a pivotal element frequently utilized in neural networks to inject nonlinear characteristics into the model. Defined as ReLU, short for Rectified Linear Unit, this function is tailored to process pre-activation values stored in a NumPy array. Its primary action involves applying the ReLU function to each element of the input array effectively transforming negative values into zeros. Integrating ReLU within neural networks plays a fundamental role in circumventing the vanishing gradient issue. This strategic maneuver safeguards against excessively diminishing gradients during backpropagation, promoting accelerated learning within the network and enhancing its overall performance during training sessions. This piece of code utilizes NumPy to create a list of 100 evenly distributed data points ranging from P to P followed by evaluating the sign value for each of these data points. By employing NUP, Glinspace, the code designs a set of data points evenly spread out within the designated interval, specifically from P to P with a total of 100 points. Subsequently, NUP, SIN computes the sign value for every data point generated in the preceding step. The pair of print statements serve to exhibit the structure of the produced data points 100. 
and the structure of the accurate forecasts 100. This comparison aids in confirming that the formats of the data points and the forecasts match properly, giving insights into data manipulation and ensuring consistency for subsequent operations. The code presents a function named example neural network, which requires two input samples in the form of a numpy array and hidden unit count as an integer value. Within this function, it begins by setting up the parameters like weights and bias for a hidden layer neural network. The linear output is computed by combining the input samples with the hidden layer weights and adding the bias term. Afterward, the ReLU rectified linear unit activation function is applied to inject some nonlinearity into the model. Subsequently, the function calculates the final results by averaging the hidden layer outcomes with weights initialized uniformly. The output of the neural network is obtained through the dot product of the hidden layer output and the corresponding weights. The intention behind this function is to provide an illustrative instance of a basic neural network with a hidden layer employing ReLU activation. It serves as a practical demonstration of determining the neural network's output based on input samples and the specified number of hidden units. This function can help comprehend fundamental neural network concepts and serve as a testing ground for various network setups and activation functions. This script is designed to depict the approximation of a specified function using a shallow neural network through a plotted graph. Initially, it establishes a figure with a clearly defined title describing the plot's intention and proceeds to graph the actual sinks function with the indicated samples. Subsequently, the script loops through a range of various quantities of hidden units within the neural network. For each hidden unit value, it invokes the function example neural network, which calculates the anticipated function values using the neural network configured with the specified hidden units. The final output showcases the projected values for each hidden unit quantity on the same plot, with each curve uniquely identified by its respective hidden unit number. The graph is furnished with axis labels, a legend distinguishing between the true function and the approximations, and is formatted with a precise layout for optimal display. This script serves as a vital tool for visually assessing how effectively a neural network, altered by distinct numbers of hidden units, can mimic a designated function. It facilitates a comparative analysis between the authentic function and the approximations contributing to a deeper comprehension of the neural network's efficiency across varying setups. Utilizing the NumPy library, the following script generates a NumPy array consisting of four zeros. By default, these will be floating point zeros. This snippet comes in handy when there's a need to set up an array with zeros right from the start to later populate it with data. The approach of creating zirco-filled arrays as temporary storage is widely employed in scientific analysis and data manipulation serving as a preparatory step before engaging in calculations or data population. Utilizing the NIP, GlinSpace function from the NumPy library, this code snippet efficiently produces an array containing numbers evenly distributed within a designated range. By invoking NIP, GlinSpace quan 1, 4, the function creates an array comprising four elements that are uniformly distributed between 1 and 1. Encompassing both endpoints, the resulting array will display values like 1. 0, 0, 33 million, 333,000, 333, 0, 33 million, 333,000, 333, 1, 0. This method comes in handy when there's a need to generate a series of numbers with a specific count of elements evenly spread across a given interval. It offers a prompt and hassle-free approach to crafting such numerical sequences, eliminating the need for manual computation of individual values. The script generates a NumPy array consisting of four elements initialized to one, followed by dividing each element by four. The intention behind this code snippet is to construct an array embodying equal probabilities that collectively amount to one. This technique proves handy when depicting situations where all potential outcomes carry identical likelihood. Through dividing every element by a consistent factor in this scenario, four, we guarantee that the cumulative probabilities total one. The script outlines the construction of a straightforward neural network model named Simple Neural Network. The function requires an array of input samples input samples holding the input characteristics and an integer named hidden unit that indicates the quantity of hidden units in the neural network. The functionality can be broken down as follows 1. Initially, it sets up the weights for the hidden layer within the 1 to 1 range by utilizing NIP. 
Linspace, 2. For simplicity, it establishes the hidden layer unit's bias to zero. 3. It computes the weighted sum of inputs and weights for the hidden layer by employing the formula weights hidden in PUT samples. Non-bias hidden. 4. It introduces non-linearity to the linear output by applying the rectified linear unit ReLU activation function. 5. To ensure equal contribution from each hidden unit, the weights for the output layer are set by dividing one by the total hidden units. 6. The ultimate output of the neural network is computed by obtaining the dot product of the hidden layer output and the output layer weights. This code excerpt illustrates a straightforward feedforward process in a neural network with a predetermined count of hidden units. It serves as an example to illustrate the fundamental structure of a neural network and the various operations conducted within such a model. By dissecting this code snip, one can gain insight into the transmission of information and the transformations occurring within each layer of a neural network. In this code snippet, a set of 100 evenly spaced samples is generated between P and P using NumP's linspace function. The next step involves computing the true values of the sine function for these samples. The nip, linspace nip, pi, nip, pi, 100 function creates a NumP array containing 100 equidistant values ranging from P to P. Subsequently, zip, sin samples is employed to determine the sign of each value in the samples array. Producing the accurate estimates for the sign function to provide insight into the carries structure. The code employs print sample shape samples, shape to display the sample's carry shape. Denoted as 100, this signifies that the array is one dimensional, comprising 100 elements. Likewise, print true prediction shape y true shape showcases the y true carry shape, also 100, affirming its identical structure to the sample's array. Understanding array shapes is fundamental for diverse tasks in data management, analysis, and machine learning endeavors. By verifying array shapes, it ensures the accurate execution of operations while facilitating the detection and resolution of errors stemming from shape inconsistencies. The following script generates a visualization to illustrate how a shallow neural network can approximate a specified function. It commences by setting up a figure of a specific size with a designated title. The initial plot showcases the true function, defined as Fisinx, and proceeds to depict the approximation of this function using a basic neural network with varying numbers of hidden units specifically 1, 2, 3, and 4. The function called Simple Neural Network Samples, D is tasked with delivering the neural network's forecast based on the input samples and the quantity of hidden units D utilized. By systematically computing the anticipated values for different hidden unit numbers, the script facilitates a side-by-side -side comparison between the genuine function and its approximated renderings produced by the neural network. Upon completion, the graph incorporates all the curves denoting the genuine function and the different approximations associated with various quantities of hidden units. Each appropriately labeled, this piece of code visually eludates the concept that enlarging the number of hidden units in a shallow neural network can enhance the network's ability to approximate a given function more accurately. We implement this code to tangibly observe and evaluate how a basic neural network performs and approximates a given function with different quantities of hidden units. This practice allows us to gain insights into the network's operational patterns and its capacity for generalization. Such visual representations prove invaluable in comprehending how the complexity of a model affects the quality of approximations generated by neural networks. This segment of code effectively determines the output of a basic neural network configuration, specifically featuring four hidden units and one output unit. For better understanding, the variable h embodies the activations of the four hidden units. On the other hand, phi symbolizes the weights interlinking the hidden units to the output unit. Where phi zero denotes the bias component, the network's output y is derived by summing up the bias term and the weighted aggregate of the hidden unit activations. The process entails calculating the scalar product between phi zero and excluding the bias term and the activation sequence h. Subsequently, blending the bias term phi zero into the outcome furnishes the finalized output y. This code plays a crucial role within neural network frameworks for gauging the output of a straightforward neural network design. Through this calculation, insights and forecasts can be generated grounded on the input data provided to the hidden units. Such calculations form the cornerstone in both training and utilizing neural networks across varied machine learning assignments. 
This snippet of code starts off by importing the numpy library and proceeds to create an array of values within a designated range using the nep linspace function. Essentially, the code carries out the following steps. 1. It produces four equidistant data points ranging from pi to pi, encompassing both endpoints, utilizing the nip linspace function. 2. Subsequently, the shape of the dataset is printed to reveal that in this instance, it would manifest as 4. This denotes a one-dimensional array containing four individual elements. This script proves invaluable for scenarios necessitating the generation of uniformly distributed data points within a specific interval. Such functionality finds widespread utility in numerical analyses, data visualization tasks, and an array of scientific fields where a sequence of uniformly positioned values proves indispensable. By leveraging this code, Users can swiftly and effectively create such datasets without the need to manually dictate each individual value. The purpose of this code is to showcase how sampling plays a crucial role in data analysis. Sampling involves choosing a smaller set of data points from a bigger dataset for analysis. The selected subset should ideally mirror the entire dataset to ensure accurate conclusions are drawn. Within this code, one can experiment with various sampling methods like simple random sampling, stratified sampling and systematic sampling to hairy pick a subset of data for analysis. These techniques aid in easing the computational load when dealing with extensive datasets and offer insights into the overall population based on the sample. Sampling becomes indispensable in situations where scrutinizing the complete dataset proves impractical due to constraints such as time, expenses, or intricacies. Through sampling techniques, we can make inferences about the whole dataset with a reliable degree of certainty, simplifying and streamlining the process of data analysis. This snippet deals with extracting the initial item from a collection labeled samples. Collections encoding are handy for bundling numerous elements into a single variable. Utilizing an index like zero permits pinpointing a particular element within the collection, enabling us to fetch the first element from the samples batch. Such coding is typically employed when handling a roster of items separately. Through the reference sample as a row, we can interact with and modify the primary entry in the list regardless of its precise content. This systematic approach to access proves beneficial in programmatically managing data. In this snippet, the sign values of each item in the sample as a row array are computed by leveraging the NumPy library. The outcomes are stored in the YTrue variable, following which the script showcases the dimensions of the YTrue array. This code snippet proves handy as it streamlines the process of applying mathematical operations like sign to an array of data points with the efficiency of the NumPy library. Furthermore, it provides clarity on the format and layout of the resultant array, offering valuable assistance for subsequent analyses or calculations. In Python, the variable YTrue is designated as a comment. Comments serve the purpose of clarifying the code and are not processed by the interpreter. In this particular instance, the comment specifies that YTrue represents an accurate prediction. Including comments is crucial in providing context, clarifications, or documentation within the code, aiding other programmers or even your future self in comprehending it more effectively. In this code snippet, an array named weights hidden is initially defined with four numerical values that depict the weights of a hidden layer within a neural network. By utilizing the nip array function, a numpy array is generated based on these specified values. Subsequently, the code proceeds to display the shape of the weights hidden array, typically appearing as four. This notation denotes a quondimensional array comprising four elements. The significance of this code lies in its capacity to validate the structural integrity and dimensions of the weights pertaining to the neural network's hidden layer before their utilization in subsequent computations or as inputs for a neural network model. Essentially, this code presents a straightforward approach to confirming the shape of the weights array, a crucial step in affirming the soundness of data within neural network implementations. This snippet of code is designed to determine the linear outcome of a hidden layer in a neural network. It accomplishes this by taking the weights of the hidden layer, multiplying them by the input values of the initial sample, and then incorporating a bias term. This process is carried out for each individual hidden unit. The inclusion of the bias term is vital as it assists the neural network in grasping and expressing intricate relationships within the dataset. 
Subsequent to the linear output calculation, the script showcases the shape of the resulting linear function outputs. This feature aids in troubleshooting and comprehending the data output dimensions. A solid grasp of the linear output from a hidden layer is crucial during the forward propagation phase of a neural network. It enables the determination of the activations of subsequent layers and eventually the ultimate network output. Initially, this piece of code employs the rectified linear unit ReLU activation function on the outcome of a linear transformation denoted as linear output. ReLU stands out as a widespread activation function in neural networks due to its capacity to add nonlinearity by simply cowputting the input value if it's positive. Otherwise, it yields zero. Subsequently, the hidden layer output variable captures the outcome of the ReLU activation function on linear output. This process aids the neural network in grasping intricate patterns and correlations within the dataset. In addition, the print statement then reveals the shape of the hidden layer output, offering insights into the dimensions of the resulting tensor. Grasping the shape of the output proves vital for debugging and crafting neural network structures. It guarantees accurate execution of operations and compatibility of dimensions for subsequent layers or computations. On the whole, this code snippet illustrates the application of the ReLU activation function in neural networks and underscores the significance of comprehending the data dimensions during processing. Such understanding is pivotal for constructing efficient and operational neural network models. In this snippet, NumPy is utilized to establish an array named parameters housing weight values for the hidden unit's outputs. The array is specifically filled with the values 2, 0, 1. 1, 1, 5, 5, 7. Subsequently, the code fetches and displays the shape of the parameters array to reveal its dimensions. Utilizing this code to denote weights in machine learning setups is fundamental. Weights play a pivotal role in neural networks as they dictate the potency of connections among nodes. By organizing weights within an array as demonstrated, we can seamlessly handle and apply them in various mathematical processes crucial for model training and inference in machine learning. Understanding the carry shape aids in comprehending how the weights are dispersed throughout the network, offering valuable insights for debugging and fine-tuning the model's efficacy. This snippet of code is crucial for machine learning tasks as it computes predictions utilizing a linear regression model. In this context, the variable example offset denotes an adjustment to apply to the predictions. The parameters variable is likely indicative of the linear regression model's coefficients. The variable hidden layer output probably signifies the output of a hidden layer in a neural network or a feature vector in another model. The prediction calculation involves multiplying the parameters and hidden layer output element by element, subsequently summing the outcomes while also accommodating the example offset shift. This process essentially enacts the linear transformation specified by the parameters on the hidden layer output. Within this code, the NIP, some function is employed to aggregate the results of the element-wise multiplication. Ultimately, the shape of the resultant predictions is displayed. Such code is fundamental in machine learning operations for predicting outcomes based on acquired parameters and input attributes. The linear transformation depicted here serves as the cornerstone operation in linear regression models and stands as a pivotal component in numerous other machine learning algorithms. Leveraging this code snippet streamlines prediction calculations, obviating the need to redundantly script the element-wise multiplication and summation operations on each occasion. The expression Y true usually denotes the genuine values of the target variable in the realm of machine learning or predictive modeling. It's commonly seen as a variable name standing in for the actual values that a model aims to predict. In the field of machine learning, during model training and assessment, it's typical to juxtapose the anticipated values with the real ones to gauge the model's efficacy. The Y-true variable would contain the factual target values extracted from the dataset used to train or assess the model. By incorporating this code, we can readily contrast the model's forecasts with the factual values to compute performance metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, or the phone score. This comparative analysis aids in comprehending the model's aptitude in generalizing to fresh data and making precise predictions. The code snippet seems to be a playholder or a function identifier linked to generating forecasts using a model. In the realm of machine learning, once a model is trained on a dataset, it is then employed to forecast outcomes on fresh data, leveraging the input features provided to the model. 
In a standard machine learning procedure, the initial step involves training the model with a training dataset, followed by an assessment of its performance. Subsequently, the model is utilized to predict outcomes on new, undisclosed data. A recommended approach is to segregate the prediction-related code into specific functions or modules, such as Y predictions. This strategy aids in maintaining code organization and facilitates the effortless reuse of the prediction logic when necessary. Such practices contribute to the upkeep of tidy and comprehensible code, particularly in extensive projects where numerous facets of the model and prediction flow must harmonize effectively. This Python function presents an implementation of the rectified linear unit ReLU activation function, a common choice in neural networks. Essentially, ReLU takes the input of the preactivation value and outputs the greater value between zero and the preactivation value. Denoted as Relux Maxero, X mathematically, the main aim behind utilizing the ReLU activation function is to inject nonlinearity into the neural network structure, enabling it to grasp intricate patterns and correlations within the data. The simplicity of ReLU and its knack for tackling the vanishing gradient issue, commonly encountered with activation functions such as sigmoid or tanch, have contributed to its popularity in deep learning. By zeroing out all negative values in the preactivation, ReLU aids the neural network in effectively capturing and generalizing data patterns. Known for its computational efficiency, ReLU has demonstrated remarkable performance across a spectrum of machine learning tasks. In essence, this code excerpt delineates a function that applies the ReLU activation to the preactivation value, playing a pivotal role in various neural network frameworks. The following script introduces a function called Neural Network, which embodies a straightforward neural network design. Within this function, three numpy arrays, namely input samples, theta, and phi, are fed as inputs. Input samples denote the neural network's input characteristics. Theta holds the weights for the concealed layers, and phi contains the weights for the output layer. The core operation of this function involves computing the concealed layer's values through a ReLU activation mechanism. Progressing through four concealed layer neurons, the function evaluates the ReLU activation for each neuron using the corresponding theta weights and saves them in hidden layers. Subsequently, the function determines the outputs for the neural network by amalgamating the concealed layer values through a weighty summation utilizing the phi weights. It calculates yon and setu by incorporating the bias term from phi for each output and summing up the dot product of the hidden layer's values and the corresponding phi weights. Upon completion, the function furnishes an array housing the calculated output values yon and say too. This snippet illustrates a fundamental structure of a neural network for computing output values based on provided weights. Such code serves as a pivotal component for executing operations in neural networks. Predominantly during forward propagation, these neural constructs are instrumental across multiple machine learning endeavors encompassing classification regression pattern recognition amongst others. The below code snippet generates a forks to numpy array that signifies the weights theta of a neural network comprising four hidden units hone. Two, three, four and two input features. Each row within the array denotes the weights linking the input features to a particular hidden unit. In the realm of neural networks, weights play a pivotal role in fine-tuning the connection strengths between units across various layers. These weights govern the extent of impact the input features wield on the hidden units. By configuring these weights, the network can adeptly learn the input-to-output mapping throughout the training phase. This code excerpt proves handy for setting the initial weights of a neural network before commencing training. Establishing suitable initial weights holds utmost importance for the network to learn efficiently and ultimately converge on a commendable solution throughout training by kickstarting with randomly assigned weights falling within a sensible range. The network can embark on the learning process from an unbiased outset. Utilizing the code theta, shape lets you retrieve the structure of the multidimensional numpy array theta. The shape attribute furnishes a tuple that showcases the caray's dimensions, with the tuple length denoting the number of dimensions, and the values inside the tuple revealing the size of each dimension. Being aware of and carries shape holds critical importance in programming, aiding in grasping the data structure, facilitating precise indexing and slicing actions, and guaranteeing harmony during mathematical computations or operations with arrays. The following code snippet generates a numpy array named phi that stores parameters for two variables, yond and setu. 
The array is structured such that each row corresponds to a variable and each column represents a specific parameter value for that variable. Leveraging NumP arrays in Python is beneficial for streamlined numerical data computation and manipulation. They are especially handy when dealing with extensive datasets and carrying out mathematical computations. In this scenario, the Phi array simplifies the organization and retrieval of Yon and Se2 parameters in a systematic manner. Utilizing the code Phi, shape allows for determining the configuration of a NumP array called Phi. The shape of an array provides insight into the extent of each dimension within the array. For instance, in the case of Phi being a two-dimensional array referred to as a matrix size 3x4, executing Phi, shape would yield 3, 4, denoting that the array consists of three rows and four columns. Employing this code is crucial for comprehending the Carey's structure and executing tasks or computations reliant on the Carey's configuration. Being aware of the shape enables you to ensure that your code appropriately manages the array data, minimizing the occurrence of errors and glitches. In the following code snippet, the variable sh example input is being set to 0, 5. By doing this, we can conveniently access and use the value 0, 5 by referring to the variable sh example input throughout the program. Utilizing variables to store values is advantageous for quick access, reusability, and maintaining code structure. This particular code segment seems to be outlining a function for a neural network that receives input data example input. Neural network weights theta and activation functions phi as parameters. It is probable that this neural network function carries out forward propagation to calculate the network's output by utilizing the provided input data and weights. The activation functions phi likely serve to incorporate nonlinear elements into the network. Neural networks stand out as robust tools for representing intricate connections within data, such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing, and beyond. Leveraging neural networks allows us to derive insights from vast datasets and generate forecasts grounded in the data patterns. The code snippet shared seems to facilitate the application of a pre-trained neural network on fresh input data to produce predictions or categorizations. In this script, and string is utilized to create a message incorporating the given example input and the multidimensional output Y produced by a neural network. By employing strings, it becomes possible to assess and arrange expressions within curly braces. Employing this script proves advantageous as it offers a transparent and easily interpretable method for showcasing both input and output data within a structured string. This functionality can serve various purposes such as logging, debugging, or presenting outcomes to users in a more accessible manner. The function below defines ReLU, which stands for Rectified Linear Unit, a popular activation function in deep learning, operating on an input array. ReLU sets negative values to zero while maintaining non-negative values unchanged. This behavior is achieved through the utilization of NIP, maximum from the NumPA library where each element in the input array is compared to zero, returning the maximum value between the two. ReLU plays a crucial role in neural networks by injecting nonlinearity, aiding in model convergence throughout training by zeroing out negative values. ReLU tackles the vanishing gradient issue, empowering the model to grasp intricate data patterns and relationships. Implementing this code empowers the application of ReLU to a neuron's output in a neural network thereby refining the output for subsequent processing and learning tasks effectively. Here we have a basic neural network model set up where input samples, along with a set of weights theta and phi, are fed in to make predictions based on the network's calculations. Let me break down how the code operates. 1. The input samples navigate through the hidden layers of the network. Each weight set the tie, 0 and the tie, 1 undergoes a ReLU activation function applied to the dot product of the weights and input samples. This process iterates through each layer as determined by the theta carries length. 2. The results from the hidden layers experience another ReLU activation function to produce the hidden layer outputs. 3. Ultimately, the network computes the predictions Yon and Se2 by multiplying the hidden layer outputs with the weights in the phi array. Then adding a bias term, this code enables us to set up a straightforward neural network for making predictions on given input samples using the provided weights theta and phi. This neural network structure comprises two hidden layers and ReLU activation functions. It serves as a basic illustration of a feedforward neural network. 
beneficial for a variety of prediction tasks within machine learning and artificial intelligence fields. This code snippet demonstrates the setup of a NumPy array that represents the vital parameters, namely the weights of a neural network. The array, denoted as theta, is structured as 4, 2, indicating the presence of 4 neurons in the layer, with each neuron being linked to two respective weights. The significance of weights in neural networks lies in their fundamental role as parameters that necessitate learning throughout the training phase. These weights interact with input values, subsequently undergoing activation functions that produce the desired output. The careful initialization of these weights with specific values is crucial for the neural network to effectively learn and generate accurate predictions. In this instance, the weights are manually predetermined to certain values 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and so forth for each neuron. Subsequently, optimization algorithms, like gradient descent, come into play during the training process, adjusting these values to minimize errors and enhance the model's overall performance. In summary, leveraging this code snippet proves to be imperative for establishing the initial weights of a neural network before delving into the training phase on a dataset. This process ultimately enables the network to undertake tasks such as regression or classification with proficiency. The following code snippet sets up a numP array named phi. Structured with two rows and five columns, each row corresponds to the parameters for different variables, specifically Yon and Setu. It's a handy way to organize parameter data for various purposes like machine learning models, simulations, and optimization algorithms where dealing with multiple parameter sets at once is necessary. Storing parameters in a NumPy array allows for efficient array operations and manipulations making it a valuable tool in diverse applications. This script produces an array containing 100 evenly distributed values ranging from sp to p by employing the linspace function from the numpy package. By invoking nip, linspace nip, pi, nip, pi, 100, an array comprising 100 data points within the range of sp to p is formed. The provided code snippet includes a print function that reveals the configuration of the generated array. In this scenario, the output shape will be 100, denoting a one-dimensional array holding 100 elements. Such a snippet proves invaluable for generating evenly spaced data points across a designated range. A prevalent requirement in data manipulation, signal processing, and scientific computations. This functionality comes in handy for activities such as chart plotting, numerical computations, and an array of other tasks where uniformly spaced values are crucial. By utilizing this script, output values are forecasted through a neural network based on provided input values x values and parameters theta. Phi, it employs list comprehension to iterate over each x input and x values, invoking the neural network's theta phi function to acquire the corresponding prediction. These forecasts are then saved in a numP array termed y predictions. Following the prediction process, the code displays the shape of the Y predictions array to verify the quantity of predictions made. The utilization of this code enables swift generation of predictions for numerous input values utilizing the determined neural network model from the neural network function and theta and phi parameters. The structured NumP array Y predictions facilitates the organization and manipulation of these forecasted values for subsequent analysis or application. The following script creates an array called yTrue that stores the actual values of a mathematical function computed for each value present in x values. The function is a combination of sine and cosine operations performed on every x values element. To begin with, it initializes an empty numP array named yTrue. It then proceeds to loop through individual elements within x values, computing the sine and cosine for each element, and adding these outcomes to the yTrue array. Upon completion, it displays the shape of the y-true array to ascertain the predition's dimensional aspects. This piece of code proves beneficial for generating authentic data related to a specific function, serving a purpose in training and assessing machine learning models. The genuine values will serve as a benchmark for evaluating the model's effectiveness by comparing them with predicted outcomes. The provided code snippet serves to generate a well-formatted string showcasing values fetched from x values, y predictions, and y true lists. Essentially, it constructs a string with designated spots for the first values in these lists. This functionality proves handy for exhibiting precise values or forecasts from disparate lists in a lucid and organized manner.
facilitating comprehension and data scrutiny. Such a tool becomes particularly crucial when handling extensive datasets or conducting code diagnostics to verify accurate processing and comparison of values. In this code excerpt, the matplotlib library is utilized to craft a plot that juxtaposes the true values with the predicted values originating from a neural network regression model. The line pult, figure fix as 8, 8 is adjusting the plot figure's dimensions to 8 by 8. To illustrate the true values of two functions sinks and costs alongside the neural network's predicted values for these functions. For pult, plot lines are employed, various colors and lena styles are adopted to delineate between the true and predicted values for each function. Labels and a title for the plot are established using pult, clibel, pult, tilabel, pult, legend, and pult, title, to ensure a neat arrangement of all components within the plot area. Pult, tight layout is incorporated. This code is essential for visually assessing the neural network model's efficacy in approximating the true values of the sinks and cosc functions. By displaying both the true and predicted values on a unified graph, any deviations or inaccuracies in the model's forecasts can be readily detected. This visual representation plays a vital role in comprehending the neural network's performance and identifying areas for enhancement, if required. The provided script initializes an MPV array named Theta Optimal, which holds the optimal parameter values for a mathematical model. It appears that the model is designed to accommodate the characteristics of sinusoidal functions such as sine and cosine. Each entry in the Theta Optimal array represents a distinct parameter pair featuring two components. The initial component denotes a phase shift or an offset value crucial for aligning the model accurately with sinks or cosks patterns. The subsequent component signifies a scaling factor responsible for modifying the amplitude of the pattern that the model mimics. By organizing these parameter pairs systematically within an array, the script facilitates effortless handling and integration into the mathematical model. This structured storage of optimal parameters not only enhances the code's readability but also simplifies its maintenance and usabilities. The following script generates a numP array called PhiOptimal, which serves as a linear combination of two functions sine and cosine. In the array, each row depicts a distinct function the initial row 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 pertaining to the sine function's parameters and the subsequent row 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 representing the cosine function's parameters. The values within each row determine the respective weights allotted to individual parameters like amplitude and frequency for both the sine and cosine functions. This piece of code proves invaluable for efficiently storing and managing the sine and cosine function parameters systematically. It streamlines the execution of mathematical operations on these parameters, particularly beneficial in domains like signal processing machine learning and scientific computing that involve manipulating linear combinations of functions. The script seems to be carrying out calculations to forecast output values by leveraging a well-tailored neural network model. It essentially runs each input value from the X values array through the neural network function alongside the optimal parameters theta optimal and phi optimal to derive the respective outputs. These anticipated output values are subsequently recorded in the Y prediction optimal array. This piece of code is vital for utilizing a trained neural network with the best parameters to prognosticate output values for a specific set of inputs. By making use of list comprehension, it effectively loops through all elements in X values, implements the neural network model, and consolidates the outcomes proficiently into the Y prediction optimal output array. In this script, the matplotlib library is employed to generate a plot juxtaposing two authentic functions specifically sine and cosine with their corresponding estimates produced by a neural network. Key actions within the code include adjusting the figure size via pult. Figure fix is 8, 8, employing pult, plot to illustrate the actual sinks and cosec functions in white and orange hues correspondingly, utilizing the X values array, depicting the neural network's estimations of these functions in blue representing sinks and red for cosecs, utilizing functions like pilt, clibel pilt, tilabel pilt, legend pilt, title and pilt, tight layout to furnish access labels, craft a legend, affix a title to the plot and ensure a neat layout, concluding with the instruction pilt show to showcase the plot. This code's aim is to visually contrast the true functions against the neural network approximations.
Such visual aids prove invaluable in evaluating the model's efficacy and gauging the extent to which it has grasped the underlying data patterns. Introducing a function dubbed sin function, this code is designed to process a singular parameter called sample, which accommodates either an integer or a floating point figure. Leveraging the capabilities of the NumPy library, the function orchestrates the computation of the sign value corresponding to the provided input sample, subsequently furnishing the outcome. The NumPy library stands out as a powerhouse for executing streamlined mathematical functionalities and manipulations on arrays and matrices within Python's domain. Specifically, the NIP sin function serves as the mainstay for evaluating the sign of the designated value. This code emerges as an invaluable asset in scenarios necessitating the derivation of the sign for a specified input. Notably within realms entailing mathematical calculations are scientific undertakings mandating pinpoint accuracy in trigonometric functions. Through the adoption of the NumPy library, the computation process is streamlined with a profound emphasis on efficiency and precision. Below is a straightforward Python function known as cost function that accepts a parameter named sample capable of being an integer or a floating point number. The function then determines the cosine of the sample by leveraging the NIP cos function from the NumPy library and subsequently furnishes the outcome. This snippet becomes handy when computing the cosine of a specific value, particularly in scenarios involving numerical computations or mathematical tasks entailing trigonometric functions. NumPy stands out for delivering proficient and fine-toned functions, ensuring seamless execution of computations, whether on arrays or individual values. This snippet presents a function called ReLU, designed to operate on a NumPy array denoted as pre-activations, executing the rectified linear unit ReLU activation process. ReLU is a widely favored activation function within neural networks, serving to embed nonlinear aspects into the model. The ReLU function operates by zeroing out any negative values within the input array while leaving positive values unaffected. Its mathematical depiction is FISMAX 0 x where x denotes the input value. Within the code, the NIP maximum function is leveraged to individually assess each element of the input array against zero. The function then retains the element if it is positive otherwise. It substitutes it with zero. This technique effectively carries out the ReLU activation process on each element of the input array. Employing the ReLU activation function within neural networks facilitates the comprehension of intricate patterns and correlations within the data. Additionally, it aids in tackling the issue of the vanishing gradient during backpropagation. In essence, ReLU stands out as a frequently utilized activation function in deep learning constructs owing to its straightforwardness and efficiency. In this script, there is a function named Neural Network designed to handle three NumP array samples, weights, and parameters. The process begins by determining the linear outputs through the calculation of the weighted sum of each pair of elements from weights and samples. Subsequently, the ReLU function is applied to the linear outputs to obtain the hidden outputs. Following that step, the function computes Yon and Saitu by mixing the elements and hidden outputs with specific parameters. The ultimate outcome of this function is an array containing the resulting outputs yons. I do. This code essentially serves the purpose of creating a neural network that processes inputs as samples, leverages learned weights, introduces a ReLU activation to yield hidden outputs, and eventually derives final outputs yon and setu by incorporating the hidden outputs with particular parameters. Such operations are widely encountered in various aspects of neural network applications for both training and inference tasks. The following function is named least squares loss and serves to compute the least squares loss, a prevalent mathematical technique in the realm of machine learning for assessing model performance. This function requires two numpy arrays as input y true representing the actual values and y prediction representing the forecasted values. In essence, the computation of the least squares loss involves determining the variance between the predicted and actual values by deducting y true from y prediction. Subsequently, each of these variances is squared, leading to the aggregation of all squared variances to yield the total loss. The term least squares is coined from the process of squaring the differences between forecasted and true values before summating them. This methodology aims to give more weight to significant errors compared to minor errors. A customary practice in numerous regression scenarios, 
The significance of this code lies in its capability to furnish a quantitative assessment of the model's efficacy by illustrating the extent to which predicted values deviate from actual values. Through the minimization of this loss function, the enhancement of machine learning model prediction accuracy becomes tangible. The function provided below is named Define Random Parameters, and it's designed for creating random weight parameters tailored for a neural network. It's responsible for crafting random weight matrices for both a hidden layer, structured as 4, 2, and an output layer, shaped as 2, 5. To achieve this randomness, the function cleverages numpy's nip, random. Ran function, capable of crafting an array with specified dimensions and filling it with random values that span from 0 to 1. By incorporating a multiplication by 2 and the subsequent subtraction of 1, the random values get resaled to neatly fit within the 1 to 1 range. This function proves particularly handy when embarking on the task of preparing a neural network for training, as having initial weights that are randomly generated equips the model to adapt and fine-tune itself throughout the training journey. Establishing a solid foundation for weights is key to prevent roadblocks like the emergence of vanishing or exploding gradients, which have the potential to hinder training progress or introduce instability to the learning process. By employing this function, users can effortlessly conjure up suitable initial weights for the various layers of a neural network. The provided script creates a tuit array named TwiTrue, showcasing the results of trigonometric functions namely sin function and cos function, for a specified range of ec values. To break it down, it initializes an array named checks values using numpy, encompassing an assortment of 100 equidistant values ranging from p to p. Subsequently, leveraging iterations, it computes sin and cos outcomes for each key value contained in checks values by utilizing the sin function and cos function correspondingly. Following these computations, the sin and cos results are recorded in the Tudor rate y truth, arranged in rows to hold the sin and cos values associated with each key value. In conclusion, the script displays the structure of the y truth array, unveiling its size and layout. This implementation proves valuable for generating artificial data that can be wielded for evaluation or educational intentions in the arena of machine learning or other numerical analyses. The reliance on NumPZ empowers the script with the ability to execute vectorized operations, offering heightened efficiency compared to conventional Python looping techniques when managing array computations. The following code snippet initializes two variables responsible for regulating the course of an iterative process, typically associated with optimizing or training a machine learning model. Firstly, we have to loss threshold zero. One, this variable establishes a threshold for the loss function. Throughout training or optimization, the system continuously computes the loss error to assess if it dips under the specified threshold value zero. One, in this instance, if the loss descends below this threshold, the operation may halt as the model has achieved an acceptable performance level. Secondly, to max iterations 10,000, this variable imposes a cap on the maximum iterations to execute during optimization. Confining the iteration count is crucial to circumvent endless loops and ensure the process terminates within a reasonable time frame. By defining a maximum iteration count 10, 0 in this case, we regulate the computational resources utilized and establish a stopping point in situations where the model hasn't fully converged. In essence, these variables aid in establishing cessation conditions for iterations during optimization or training tasks and assist in managing the convergence criteria for the model training algorithm. They play a critical role in preventing perpetual execution of the training process and guaranteeing that the model attains a desirable performance level without unnecessary computation. Starting with setting the variable best loss to a value of positive infinity, this snippet proceeds to execute the define random parameters function, aiming to obtain random weights and parameters. The resulting weights and parameters are then stored in best weights and best parameters correspondingly. This code snippet serves the purpose of establishing initial parameters ahead of a potential optimization routine or model training phase. By initializing the loss value to infinity initially, it ensures that any subsequent loss will be lower, simplifying the tracking of the best achieved loss throughout the procedure. Moreover, the introduction of random weights and parameters injects variability into the algorithm aiding in the exploration of diverse solution spaces. 
With this code snippet, we're able to examine the structure size of two distinct arrays or matrices, namely best weights and best parameters. Leveraging the shape attribute in Python enables us to swiftly ascertain the number of rows and columns present in each of these arrays. This insight holds significance in confirming that the arrays possess the anticipated dimensions and are harmonious with one another for subsequent computations. It serves as a checkpoint to ensure the data is appropriately structured and poised for any ensuing calculations or procedures. In scenarios involving arrays or matrices in code, it's frequently imperative to validate their shapes to safeguard the soundness of the data undergoing processing. The provided code snippet illustrates a basic optimization algorithm loop designed to determine the optimal combination of weights and parameters for a neural network while reducing a predefined loss function. Here's a breakdown of its operation. The process entails the following steps. 1. The loop undergoes a specific number of iterations, max iterations. 2. Within each iteration A. The function define random parameters is utilized to randomly set weights and parameters. B. The current weights and parameters are utilized by the neural network model neural network to forecast the output Y prediction for each input value and X values. C. The loss between the actual output Y true and the predicted output Y prediction is computed using the least squares loss function least squares loss. D. The algorithm assesses if the current loss is lower than the previously recorded best loss best loss. Should this be the case, the current loss, weights, and parameters are updated as the new best values. E. In case a superior loss is discovered, the algorithm displays the new best loss and the current iteration count. F. If the best loss falls below a specified threshold loss threshold, the loop halts, effectively concluding the optimization process. Such a code structure proves invaluable in a range of machine learning scenarios where continuous adjustment of model parameters is vital for loss function minimization. Through this iterative optimization technique, the code navigates through the parameter space to identify the model settings that offer optimal performance. As dictated by the loss function, this automation streamlines the parameter tuning process for neural networks, eliminating the need for manual intervention. Below is a script that outputs the optimal parameters determined during the training phase. It showcases the finest loss value, the optimal weights, and the prime parameters discovered. Initially, the code reveals the supreme loss value attained throughout the training session. Subsequently, the code displays the optimal weights that yielded the superior loss value. Lastly, the script highlights the premium parameters linked to the top NOF loss value and weights. This snippet serves as a valuable tool for monitoring and evaluating the efficacy of a machine learning model or an optimization algorithm. It empowers developers and data scientists to effortlessly keep tabs on the advancement of their training process and pinpoint the most successful setup of the model based on metrics such as loss, weights, and parameters. These metrics play a pivotal role in comprehending the model's performance and in devising strategies to enhance its effectiveness. The code is designed to produce a series of equivalues ranging from P to P by leveraging the NIP. Linspace function with a distribution of 100 points evenly spread out. Subsequently, it utilizes a list comprehension technique to derive the corresponding Z values for each key value. This is accomplished by applying the sin functions and cos functions functions to each key value within the X values array. The main objective of this code snippet is to establish a dataset comprising Z values that align with the generated key values. These evalues are determined by assessing the sine function, sin function, and cosine function, cos functions results. Such a dataset serves the purpose of generating artificial data for analysis or visualization of these trigonometric functions. The provided code snippet seems to demonstrate a routine feedforward operation of a neural network with predetermined weights and biases. Here's a breakdown of the process initially. The code computes the linear results by multiplying the given weights with the input values x values, adding the bias weight, and saving these outcomes in the linear outputs list for each of the four neurons. Following that, the code implements the rectified linear unit ReLU activation function on the linear results. ReLU transforms negative values to zero while leaving positive values unchanged, injecting some nonlinearity into the network. Subsequently, the subsequent lines determine the ultimate outputs. Yon and Satu, by utilizing the optimal parameters and the relook activated hidden results. In computing each output, 
the bias weight gets added to the dot product of the remaining weights and the hidden results using NIMP. Dot. To conclude, Eon and Tai2 get merged into a NumPy array labeled results. This code is pivotal for making predictions using a trained neural network. It cleverages the acquired weights and biases on the input data, incorporates an activation function, and generates the final result. Each element contributes significantly to the operation of neural networks, aiding in producing precise forecasts grounded on the learned parameters. When using the Python snippet results, shape, you can easily retrieve the dimensions of an array or data frame denoted by results. This specific property provides a tuple displaying the row and column count within the array or data frame. Leveraging results, shape allows for swift identification of the data size and arrangement, proving instrumental for debugging, indexing, slicing, reshaping, and executing operations tailored to the data structure. A profound grasp of the data shape is vital for crafting streamlined and precise code. The results, shape code is commonly employed in data analysis and machine learning to ascertain the dimensions of the object results. This method is valuable for comprehending the makeup of the data. Through the utilization of shape, one can easily determine the dataset's row and column count. For instance, in Python, if there's a data frame containing 100 rows and 5 columns, Invoking results, shape would yield a result of 105, indicating that there are 100 rows and 5 columns present. Gaining insights into the data's structure holds significance as it guides decision-making processes concerning data manipulation and analysis. Utilizing the NumP library, this code computes the sign of SPPI by leveraging the NIP. SIN function, specialized in evaluating sign values, by inputting P radians into the function. It performs the sine calculation for that specific angle. In mathematics, the sine function denotes the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse in a right triangle at an acute angle. When dealing with p, the sine value equals zero as it repeats at intervals due to the nature of the sine function. This code snippet proves valuable in scenarios necessitating angle-specific trigonometric computations. Common in numerical analyses, simulations, or data processing tasks, here, the focus lies on obtaining the sign of C, leading to a result of zero in this instance. This piece of code computes the cosine value of the angle P, which is equivalent to negative pi. In the realm of mathematics, the cosine function is a trigonometric function that specifically provides the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse within a right-angled triangle. When dealing with CP, we're essentially looking at an angle of 180 degrees in radians, where the cosine of 180 degrees precisely equals 1. By employing this code snippet, we can swiftly determine the cosine of the P angle without the need for manual computations. Such functionality proves handy across a spectrum of fields like scientific computing, geometry, and various applications that call for trigonometric calculations. Here's a script that outputs the sine and cosine values for a specific x. The x values array holds the input values for sine and cosine functions, while the y true array stores the actual sine and cosine values for those x inputs. The results array contains the predicted sine and cosine values computed by a model or algorithm. The formatted print statements show the sine and cosine values for the first item in the x values array alongside the corresponding true values from y true and the predicted values from results. This code comes in handy for assessing a model's accuracy in forecasting sine and cosine values based on given x inputs. By comparing the predicted values to the true values, we can gauge the model's performance and pinpoint any discrepancies or inaccuracies in the forecasts. This block of code is designed to generate predictions for sine and cosine values using a neural network model. Initially, it forecasts both sine and cosine values based on a specified set of input values x values through the neural network function utilizing optimized weights and parameters. The resultant predictions are saved in an array called y predictions. Later, it segregates the sine and cosine predictions by segmenting the y predictions array accordingly. The sine predictions get stored in the sin predictions variable, while the cosine predictions are saved in the cos predictions variable. Such code proves beneficial in situations where a neural network model is established to forecast multiple outputs, such as sine and cosine values derived from specific input values.
Leveraging a neural network enables the detection of intricate patterns and correlations within the data that conventional statistical techniques may overlook. One can employ the code Y predictions, shape to retrieve the dimensions of the NumP array Y predictions. The shape of an array comprises a tuple of integers indicating the quantity of elements in each axis of the array. For instance, if Y predictions is a two-dimensional array, calling Y predictions, shape will yield a tuple in the form number of rows. Number of columns, depicting the carry's structure, in the case of a one-dimensional array, it will return a tuple in the form number of elements. Understanding and carry's structure is crucial for various tasks ranging from data handling to debugging code. Grasping the carry's shape enables efficient execution of operations like slicing, indexing and reshaping to effectively manage and manipulate array data. The provided code excerpt appears to be computing the sine and cosine values for an array of ECHA values. It leverages NumP's NIP, SIN and NIP, COS functions to systematically apply these trigonometric functions to the X values array. Generating SIN true and COS true arrays, this script comes in handy for swiftly evaluating sine and cosine values for multiple data points. Eliminating the need for cumbersome manual iteration, NumP's vectorized operations come into play. Enabling efficient array calculations, a significant upgrade from traditional iterative methods. Such streamlined processing proves invaluable when handling extensive numerical datasets or prioritizing performance efficiency. Utilizing the Matplotlib library, this script generates a comparative visualization between the actual and forecasted values of the sine, sin, and cosine cost functions produced by a neural network NIN. To break it down step by step one, First off, a fresh figure is established with specific dimensions of 8 x 8 inches by invoking PULT. Figure fix size 8, 8, 2. The figure is then split into two subplots using PULT. Subplotone, 2, 1 and PILT. Subplotone, 2, 2 to position the plot side by side. 3. In the initial subplot on the left side, the script graphs the genuine sine function values against the key values and the anticipated sine function values displayed with dashed lines via PULT. Plot's values, sin true and pilt. Plot's values, sin predictions. It assigns labels, colors, and a title to the lines and plot using pult. Title pilt, clibel pilt, tilebel. Furthermore, it incorporates a legend with labels using pult. Legend, 4. The subsequent subplot on the right side follows a similar process as the first one, but this time showcasing the genuine cosine function values vis a vis values alongside the predicted cosine function values. 5. Lastly, built, tight layout is applied to regulate the spacing between subplots to avoid overlap. Followed by PULT, show to exhibit the amalgamated plot. This code plays a pivotal role in visually contrasting the neural network's predictions approximations with the factual sine and cosine function values. Such visual aids are instrumental in assessing the precision and efficacy of the neural network model in approximating the core mathematical functions. They enable rapid evaluation of the model's proficiency in predicting sin and cost values based on the input dataset provided, facilitating any requisite tweaks or enhancements.